Today we're going to be looking at a fantastic Christian movie. There's a lot of talk about bad Christian movies, and rightfully so, but I'm going to recommend something that, if you're a Christian, I think you would really enjoy and would be very edifying. Hi, I'm Stefano Tirana. This is the Cinema Tirana YouTube channel. We are a growing community of believers from across traditions, looking at media and the world carefully, critically, thoughtfully with the sermon. The movie I'm talking about today is A Hidden Life, directed by Terrence Malick. A Hidden Life is based on a true story. It's based on the life of Franz Jägerstätter. He was an Austrian farmer during the Second World War who refused to swear loyalty to Hitler. He faced serious persecution, his family faced serious persecution, and this movie is uh, a chronicle of his life. For a Christian movie to be a good Christian movie, uh, it needs to fit certain criteria. The first criteria is, is it Christ-like? God uh, did not become a man and die for the sins of movies. He died for people and resurrected for people. But a, we can judge the character of the contents of a movie based on how well it represents the God that we serve. Another criteria of whether or not a Christian movie is good is whether or not it is beautiful. Is it technically good? Is it a beautiful work of art? Is it something that we can be proud of? And is it something that engages the senses in, in a meaningful, thoughtful way? And then the last criteria we can measure a Christian movie by is asking whether or not it is impactful. Coming out of a film, it should cause you to think, it should cause you to self-reflect, it should cause conviction, it should cause it should cause you to see God in, in a new way and in a and in a deeper way than before. And I'm happy to say this movie nails it out of the park with all three of these categories. So let's take a look at the first category. Is this movie Christ-like? Throughout this movie we see Franz go through so many trials as he comes to grips with his convictions in a, a trying time during the second world war not only does he have firm convictions he also bears the consequences of those convictions beautifully and gracefully in a way that most christians could only could only aspire to there's long extended portions of this movie in the jail that he was kept and there's beautiful scenes of him finding God's peace in, in, a, in a terrible situation and scenes of him praying and it reflects such a, a saintly beautiful life that I, I think would be inspiring to any Christian from any denomination. The movie also is not simple in the way that it categorizes uh, people who are antagonists. Throughout the film we see uh, people struggling with their situation morally. They agree with what Franz is doing but they're too scared to speak up. They're just trying to survive in these terrible circumstances. And we also see uh, a humanity brought to other humans that have chosen evil but are also victims of that evil. There's a beautiful courtroom see, scene where you see Franz uh, speaking with one of the judges and it, it's it's so beautiful in the way that it, it represents Jesus with Pontius Pilate. It, it's such a profound moving scene and there's so many scenes like that throughout this whole movie. Let's look at the, the beauty of this film. This film is technically incredible. It's shot so well. It's shot in these dramatic wide-angle lenses which just bring in the entire space onto the screen. Everything is so wide and the close-ups are, are intense because of those lenses. The, the colors are beautiful. Where Franz lives at the beginning before the war, it's it's so idenic. And to see the, the fall from grace as, as these terrible evil forces begin to move in on the town. It, it's such a profound experience to, to watch happen on screen. The editing is, is beautiful. There's beautiful juxtapositions. There's beautiful cuts in time. It, it's technically a, a really great film and that's something Christian movies typically have a hard time with. Now, now for the last category, is it impactful? 
uh, I walked away from this movie w with so much conviction and, and a heavy heart to really ask myself, like, under dire circumstances, what, what is it that I'm, I'm willing to do and what is it that I'm capable of doing for my faith. Unlike other Christian movies where the protagonist is some kind of hero who doesn't really struggle, faces kind of minor ramifications for his beliefs, here the, the stakes are real and just knowing that this is a true story just adds to that. Knowing that Franz is so convicted and that's gonna lead to a certain death and, and seeing that the peace that comes with that it is something we can only aspire to into, into these times. And even though this film is set in the past, I think it is so relevant for the times that we're living in now. In a time when Christians from every side are putting their faith in political figures, into the system of the Antichrist, it's having an example of living a, a saintly life in trying times like that in this movie is incredibly impactful and and it, it gives so much to think about. It's it's such an incredible film and I think so many people should watch it regardless if you're Christian or not. I will say if you're gonna watch this movie to be prepared. It is a long film but it's worth it. It's, it's long and contemplative and it takes its time so Go with the journey in seeing this movie and it'll be well worth it in the end. If you've seen this movie, let me know what you thought in the comments. We can have a really good dis discussion about it. It's not a, a perfect movie, so I'd be glad to talk about its flaws in the comments. But if you have any other good Christian movie recommendations, leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear those. Don't forget to subscribe down below to join this beautiful growing community. I'd love to see more people engaging with each other, having good, thoughtful dialogue. And God bless, and thanks for watching. I will say, if you're gonna watch the movie, oh, puppy. You wanna stay or you wanna go? Thank you.